And um, welcome back to the Village Entrepreneur Part 2. This, it's been a week now <laughs> since we uh, last went to the mainland to sell our um, sea cucumbers. And um, now we're going back because some of us has gotten their permit to sell. Not all, but some. Again, why some and not all? So again, fish fisheries, do your damn job. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let's see the process. Hopefully I can show you guys how um, they do the, the process when we come to the mainland and how they are gonna sell it and how much it's gonna be and um, stuff like that. I don't know much about it, so I'm uh, just excited as you are. Let's go, yalla yalla. So the locals say that um, the government uh, made a ban for five years where you couldn't sell the uh, sea cucumbers and I want to stress that uh, these people they are really like it's one of the big lifeline uh, in order to get money and um, the government had five years to plan how are they gonna give out the permit in time so everybody can benefit from the ban or when it's the, the ban is lifted now when the ban is lifted they had to wait 11 days to get the permit to sell and when the fisheries came they only gave some permits out not to every not to uh, everybody so again how how come when you have five years to plan this shit it's not fair for the people it's not fair for the business you had one job fiji government show you how the uh, permit looks like so Chosesi is clear to sell sea cucumber we have now arrived to our uh, another village our neighboring village we have to pick up um, some more passengers and then we're gonna go to the mainland <laughs> We have picked up the last passengers and we are on our way to the mainland. And uh... <laughs> If you haven't seen the um, part one of the sea cucumber business, I'll leave the link uh, somewhere in the video. But um, I will try to do more content from uh, actually the mainland, um, so you guys can watch. that are on their way to, uh, to sell their sea cucumbers in the middle of the ocean. 
Niku. So our boat is uh, really packed, so we are just trying to maneuver some of the, uh, the sea cucumbers over there. Because uh, our boat is very, very, very heavy. Oh, I think we're just gonna get some uh, fuel so we can go the rest of the way. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go to the other boat. There are too many people here. Okay, Okay guys, I'm on the other boat. So uh, I guess uh, it's one of the against struggles you have to make when you want to sell your sea cucumbers. Hey! You sell cucumber? Hey hey! I said Gori! So I'm on another boat now. <laughs> And the weather this time is a bit better, so let's hope the outcome this time is also gonna be better. We hope for a lot of money, maybe millions. Set up. Millions, ten thousand. a million dollars. Hey, Captain Bula. Captain Courageous. The best captain in the world, right there. Morning workout for you Right there Okay people our lorry is here and um, we're just gonna Carry our stuff and pack the uh, lorry and then we're gonna Be on our way to the uh, same exact uh, Company that uh, we tried to sell the sea cucumber to and We are told that they got their permit as well to um, to buy uh, sea cucumber, so uh, fingers crossed. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna. We're gonna go on the second uh, lorry, which is this one. Bola driver. I'm in. I'm in. Uh, 
People are lining up, getting ready to uh, put the uh, CQ cam on the scale to see how much money they can make. down the paper what he's gonna buy and then they'll receive the paper from him and then they'll go and receive the money in front so this is the paper Thank you. 
Kan Basar. So this is. Let's hope we can uh, make a good amount of uh, money, you know, from uh, all this uh, hard work. Let's go to the scale and watch. Joseph, let's see how much money you got. 160 Fijian dollars on this day and uh, let me just try to convert it into uh, US dollars so from um, his CQ compass he made about 72 US dollars well um, and they uh, they go about uh, two times a week to the mainland to sell those sea cucumbers and you can see how much they work just to make um, 72 dollars and you also have to pay the uh, trans boat transportation and the uh, the lorry back and forth so um, I don't know how much he's gonna keep in his pocket after he pays all that and uh, this just shows how much um, people the locals in Fiji go through just to make uh, uh, some money or make a living uh, people it's uh, late in the afternoon 
and uh, the beginning of the evening and we are on our way home back to the island back to the island <laughs> so as you all know we go early in the morning and return late in the afternoon so that's how it is when you try to make a living when you're living in a uh, remote island so until then see you